Hello all. Happy learning. A good start always has a good end. And in today's video, we are going to discuss on how do we load the data sets into Pandas data frame. Now, let us take an example of a CSV file which is called as comma separated value. And by default, all the data sets which has been discussed in data analytical representation is almost an CSV file format. Before loading the CSV file, I have to ensure the current working path of my file. So for that, I have to import the operating system package and using the command called as os.getcwd, which means get current working directory, I may ensure that what is my current working directory and in that particular current working directory, I'm going to put all my data set files. Once the files has been put up in the current working directory, we are going to proceed with the first operation of loading an CSV file into the data frame. Right. So let us assume that we have an m dataset.csv file which contains the following information: m ID, gender, age, sales, BMI, income. All these are the informations available in the m dataset.csv file. And the most important information is that this particular dataset file contains the header information along with the CSV file. So once it contains a header information, the process is quite easier where we use the command read underscore CSV for reading the data set file into the pandas data frame. Let's take an example that the header does not header information is not available in the data set. So the same example is provided here without the header information. If header information is not available and if we fail to specify the option as header is equal to none, then default pandas data frame is going to assume the first row of the data set as your header. So in this case E001 M34 123 normal 350 will be taken as the header information if header is equal to none is not provided. So we have to ensure that we appropriately provide the header is equal to none option if the respective data file does not contain a header information. Next is we are going to import the URL file from the website location. So we are going to put the read underscore CSV function. Within the read underscore CSV function, we are going to include the URL information. So in this case, I'm going to import the URL from http colon slash slash winter olympics medal dot com slash medals dot csv so appropriately if the web url contains a csv file then it will be loaded into the pandas data frame next comes with reading a text file text files can be read into the data frame in two methods either i can use read underscore table function or I can use read underscore CSV with separator as slash T. Let us see one by one. If I want to read a notepad file, let us assume that this is my notepad file which contains the information, employee ID, gender, age, sales, BMI and income. So this is absolutely an text file. So if I want to read this particular text file, which is separated by a tab, right? Then in that case, I can use my command called as pd.read underscore table and I can specify the location with the file name as notepad file dot txt. Suppose there is one more method which can be operated for reading a text file which is separated by tab. 
So now this is the next representation. My data is equal to PD dot read underscore CSV with the separated information as slash T. Let us assume that this respective notepad file is separated by comma. So the representation is given in such a way that amp id comma gender comma age comma sales comma bmi comma income if the representation is given in a notepad file with the separator as comma then here it is advisable to give the separator is equal to within double quotes i have to specify comma as my separator so depending upon the separators information i can appropriately specify the delimiter value in the separator column and the last representation what we have is to read an excel file let us assume that this is an excel file which comprises of the internal mark representation of the students so in this case the first five columns is not going to give you an any respective input for processing because it just gives you the information like to which particular college it belongs to what is the name of the department what is the respective paper in which particular academic year you are going to process it the batch the date of processing but everything is given but we are not going to take all these informations for processing so i'm going to read this excel file skipping up the first five rows so in order to skip the five rows i'm going to use a representation called as my data is equal to read underscore excel so in order to read an excel file i'm going to use the command called as read underscore excel and in this separated column right i have to use an option called as skip rows is equal to 5 if the number of rows which you want to skip is going to be 6 then obviously you are going to specify the skip rows is equal to column is equal to 6 then that's it for today's session there were 5 exabytes of information created between the dawn of civilization through 2003 so from the dawn of civilization to 2003, there was only five exabytes of information, but that much information is now created every two days. Eric Smith, Executive Chairman of Google. Wish you all a happy learning. Thank you.